This is Mildred Day. You probably do not know who she is, but I can guarantee you're familiar with the sweet treat she created. But let's go back to the beginning. In 1939, Mildred was working for the Kellogg Company. She was also the leader of a troop of campfire girls. That summer, she was trying to think of a fundraiser for the girls to raise money for camp and for other summer activities. Adapting an older recipe she had found, she combined puffed rice, butter, and marshmallow to create the iconic treat we all know and love today known as Rice Krispie Treats. They sold so well that the executives at Kellogg took notice, and in 1941, they added the recipe to the back of the Rice Krispie cereal, and eventually, in 1995, they started to produce their own line of Rice Krispie Treats in a variety of flavors. Today, Mildred's original recipe has been duplicated and adapted all over the world, which is probably not the outcome she had expected when she held the fundraiser in 1939. I am Grant, and this is Budget Bites. So today we're going to be making Rice Krispie Treats. I have never met anyone who said they just don't outright like Rice Krispie Treats. The best part about a Rice Krispie Treat, though, is you can always start from a nice base recipe and make it even better by adding things and manipulating the recipe just a little bit. That's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to make three types of Rice Krispie Treats. We're going to make your original, we're going to make a cinnamon roll, and then we're going to make a s'more Rice Krispie Treat. So let's get started with the first one, original. You're going to need butter, marshmallows, and Rice Krispies. <laughs> yeah, it's that simple. Let's get started. Go ahead and get a pot on, fairly large, to a nice medium-high heat. One stick of butter, which is a half a cup, into your pot. So melt your butter down completely. All right, we are basically melted. Have a little bit left. So now I'm going to add a full bag of marshmallows. You can use mini, you can use regular. Uh, it's up to you. So into your melted butter on a medium heat, everything's melted. Put it on in. Now this is the trickier part. It's a balancing act. It's not hard. You need to let it mix and sit so it has a chance to melt. So that oil is going to start to melt it down. If it sits too long, it'll start to burn. So just like any sort of sugar, you got to keep it moving, but stopping periodically. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to grease my pan. I'm using a nine inch round pan. This one makes about a perfect nine inch round or square. Grease it. Perfect. And this is ready to start stirring. It's starting to melt. Yeah, I can see it start to fall apart. I'm gonna let that sit a little bit longer. While I'm doing that and waiting, I'm gonna measure out five cups of Rice Krispie Treats. Okay. The reason I'm measuring it out now is because once this is ready to go, we're gonna have to move fairly quickly. All right, and keep stirring. We are getting real close. Okay, we are just about there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna turn off my heat, remove it from the heat, add in five cups of Rice Krispies, and mix it until it's completely covered. Right now it's easy because it's still pretty thin, but it'll firm up quick. So you want to get this part going. Careful, the sides of this pot are hot. So get it until it's completely and thoroughly covered. There we go. We're just about there. Nice and covered. Then into our grease pan. Empty the whole thing. And then press it on down in. You do this quickly, you won't need to do anything special. Just press it on in. But the faster, the more cool, the stickier it's gonna get. And if it gets too sticky, you can take your spatula or your spoon or everything, put water on it, just a little bit of cold water, and it'll just slide right off. There we go. Original Rice Krispies. Well, let's let them cool and then we can try them. But now let's move on to cinnamon roll Rice Krispies. Cinnamon roll Rice Krispie treats. They're actually really good, and they're not terribly common, which makes them fun. And also, they've been approved by my sister-in-law, Lindsay, which 
that's kind of the biggest thing I need to worry about. So for cinnamon roll Rice Krispie treats, we will need Rice Krispies, marshmallow, cinnamon, powdered sugar, cream cheese, and butter. Let's get started. So I did the same thing I did with regular Rice Krispies. Half a cup of butter, which is one stick, and then the bag of marshmallows. It is almost ready. So this is where we're gonna do some things that are a little different. So before we take it off the heat, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon is actually a very strong spice. So while a teaspoon might not seem like a lot, it'll go a long, long way. So level, sprinkle it in. Now the color this is going to change is pretty insane. Now I'm gonna actually remove it from the heat. Stir it up quickly, because we all know now time is of the essence. Now it's nice and mixed in. It'll be this brown with the white stream. It's actually really pretty brown. And then in with Rice Krispies. Mix it up. It's already starting to get thick. This is good. Now, because I forgot, grease your pan. Let's transfer it over. It smells really good. Push it down on in. Nice and smooth. Press it down, make it tight. There we go. Now, we're not done. What does every cinnamon roll need? Icing. So let's make some icing while this cools off. So for our icing, we're gonna take one to two ounces of cream cheese. It is marked, so you can see about how much you need. I've softened this, I've had this out for a couple hours, and you want it softened. Put that in your bowl. Take a fork then, and whip it up a little bit, just till it's smooth. It'll just make it easier now when we add powdered sugar. You wanna do a quarter cup. I couldn't find my quarter cup, so I'm using an eighth. I'm doing two. So one, two. Also, just a little splash of vanilla. Two, it's a few drops. Then mix it all together. When you're done, you end up with a thicker icing. Looks pretty smooth like an icing. Then what I do, I take a mug, small sandwich size Ziploc bag, Open it up, place it inside of it, wrapping the lip around this. Take our mixture here, put it right into the bag. Take it right out of the bag. I like to just knock it down to a corner. Squeeze as much of the air out, seal it up. All right, let's finish this thing off. It is cooled a little bit. It is not too hot. It's still a little warm, but it's not too bad for what we're doing. Snip off the tip of the corner. And you just made yourself a piping bag. So, start in the center. Nice spiral heading on out. I'm not going for perfection. I'm going for coverage, taste, and overall, enjoyment. There you go. Cinnamon Roll Rice Krispies. S'mores Rice Krispie Treat. Now, I know there's some people out there and the very first thing they're gonna say is, Greg, that's not Rice Krispies. Good for you. You're right. These are an off-brand of Golden Grams, so Honey Grams. They're gonna make the base for our s'more. The whole reason I'm doing it is to show you that you can take it and I want you to experiment with it. I want you to try your own things. Try it with Cocoa Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops. Try with it, your favorite cereal. See how it turns out. It is a lot of fun. All sorts of fun flavors. Let me know. Send it to me. If you try it, send me a picture. I'd love to see it. But for this one, for the s'mores, let's see what we got. We have Golden Graham cereal, in this case off-brand from Aldi, mini marshmallows, milk chocolate, and butter. Let's get started. I've already melted our butter. This is one stick, just like before with the Rice Krispies. I have taken about a third of the marshmallows out. We're gonna use them later. This amount, right on it. While I'm waiting on that, not gonna forget this time, gonna grease my pan. You can, if you want, form these out onto a sheet of parchment paper and have them nice individually. I'm gonna just do a bar, it's easier. 
Now, I will freely admit, I made a mistake. I added too much butter. It's not a half a stick, not a half a cup. It's, it's a half a stick, not a half a cup. And so it's a quarter cup. So I accidentally did extra oil, so it was really oily. So I added a few extra larger marshmallows in to help soak up some of that oil, give it a better balance or else it'll be way too runny. All right, we have finally hit there. Everything's melted. I'm gonna remove it from the heat. Turn that guy off. In with the four and a half cups of your golden grams. Now this part's gonna be all about timing. Get everything coated. Now this stringy like this, it's still very hot. But the temperature is dropping, which is great. We're gonna add back in our marshmallows. And with them, keep doing what you're doing. It's gonna get harder because it is starting, the sugar's starting to solidify, which is good. It's what we want. It's just hefty. All right, so you just start that mixing. Half a cup of chocolate chips. I'm using milk chocolate. Well combined is the goal. All right, let's move this on in before it gets too much harder. Well, it smells like s'mores and it looks like a gooey mess. Smooth it out and it is a mess. But in my opinion, that's one of the tastiest looking messes I have ever seen. I'm gonna leave that to set, and that's done. S'mores Rice Krispie Treats. Out of the three Rice Krispies, I'm assuming what the normal one tastes like, I did not try it. I would say that by itself, the s'more one is very good. I think if I had some milk, the cinnamon one would probably be very good. They're both very good. Okay. But I like the s'more standalone. Normal Rice Krispie treat was a really was a really good Rice Krispie treat. Uh, it was nice and sweet. I really enjoyed it. The s'more, definitely an interesting take on a Rice Krispie. It was very inventive and it definitely reminded me of a s'more. But the cinnamon bun, definitely my favorite. Good cinnamon, good sweetness with the cream cheese icing. Really enjoyed it. They were delicious. Everything was great. My favorite was the s'more one. Um, I don't know how you snuck that stuff in there, but it was wonderful. 